Hi guys, this is Az from Integrum Health and Wellness. And today we're going to discuss the importance of water. Water comprises of up to 65% of the human body. You might have heard this number get chucked around 70%, 90%, 80%. Uh, the common consensus is it's around 60 to 65%. What we can see from that, if nothing else, is it's over half your body is made up of the stuff. So it goes without saying that it's important that we start drinking more of it, as well as being aware of the quality of it. A study in the States found that 75% of people are dehydrated, are drinking under the recommended daily allowance of water in a day. So let's start with how much water we should be consuming. There's a great simple little equation that you can do, which I've run and through for myself down at the bottom here. Uh, and you can check this for yourself to see how much water you should be drinking. Don't go with an arbitrary number. We are all different in terms of how big we are, how old we are, our activity level. So it's really important that you understand that how much you should be drinking is a very personalized thing. So this equation here is to determine how much you should be drinking based upon your weight. So if you're a child, much smaller, or if you're a very big, large human, uh, then it's gonna vary depending on this. So this is to determine your weight. You must also on top of this take into consideration things such as your climate, if it's a really sunny hot country where you live, lucky you. Uh, if you've got a high activity level, especially if you're doing loads of cardiovascular where you sweat plenty throughout the day, uh, what your job entails, etc. All of this will affect it. But this is a great starting point so that you've got a rough guideline and it might surprise you how much water you're expected to be drinking per day. So what we start with is our weight in pounds. So if you're watching this in the UK, uh, I weigh roughly 80, 81 kilos, and that converts to about 180 pounds uh, in weight. That gets divided by two to give you 90. Now 90 is the amount of fluid ounces per day that you should be drinking. Again, don't worry if you're working in milliliters, uh, I'll explain that in just a second for you. So 90 is the amount of fluid ounces for my body weight that I should be consuming per day. Uh, let's say that I'm going to drink it in eight cups or eight glasses. I then divide it by that to get 11.25 ounces per cup. That's 330 milliliters uh, in UK money, UK terms, roughly. It works out to 2.6 liters per day. So just to give you a bit of an approximation, this is approximately 330 milliliters of water in a pretty typical size drinking glass. So for my body size, my shape, I'd be expected to drink eight of these per day to hit my two and a half liter requirements. Now, for some of you, that might seem like a real shock. Uh, and a lot of people will tell you, well, that also includes however else you consume water. So whether it be in your foods, in your coffee, in your drinks that are other than water, for me personally, I aim to get eight glasses of pure water, nothing else, and then anything else on top of that is a bonus, especially since my activity levels are quite high. I do a lot of cardio, I spend a lot of time sweating, uh, I'm naturally perspiring, we're going to the toilet all the time and all the rest of it. Uh, this for me is really important. The next thing that we're gonna discuss is the quality of what we're drinking. Uh, and again, this is something that's a really controversial topic. You speak to 10 different people, you'll get 10 different answers. Uh, but what I think we can all agree on is that all water is not made equal. All water is not the same. Now, whether you consume your water through a tap, from a plastic bot bottle, uh, whether you use a reverse osmosis machine, whether you've got a fresh water stream down the road to you and you get it direct from there, all water is not created equal. The things to take into consideration are the micronutrient profile. So if you look on the back of a bottle of water, it will show you the mineral composition within that water. Uh, we're not gonna get too into that today, but if you'd like to know more about that, then let me know in the comments below and I can do a video on mineral breakdown in drinking water. The main thing that you wanna be aware of and start just developing a sensitivity to is the pH level of your water. Here we have the pH scale. So this is kind of the middle portion of it, which is 
mostly in relation to what humans will be consuming in terms of food and drink. The scale goes from zero to 14, uh, but if you're consuming foods that are sitting on a zero or a 14, uh, you're not gonna be getting on very well. So you wanna be sticking to stuff that sits between uh, really a four up to a 10. So in terms of drinking water, I have done tests myself and I've seen people do tests on bottled water and achieving results of water as acidic as a three uh, and as alkaline as a 10 and everything in between. The human body sits at around 6.5 to seven as an ideal healthy pH. So that's about neutral, uh, which would make you think that you'd want to drink a neutral water to meet with that. The thing is, is the majority of the human diet, even if you've got a healthy balanced one, sits more on the side of acidic. Even things you wouldn't think, such as grains, eggs, meat, dairy, all of these things tend to lean towards being more acidic than alkaline. This is why it's really important that something that we're consuming throughout the day, such as water, be edging towards alkaline. A slightly more alkaline water is going to help us achieve more of that balanced pH at the end of the day. So next time you're out buying your bottled water or you want to go and test your tap water, you can buy really cheap pH testing kits on Amazon. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any, but I'll find a link for one and stick it below for you to look at. Uh, and that will be a way for you to check the pH of the water that you're drinking. I personally, and again, this is through no affiliation myself, uh, but what's accessible to me and what I uh, budget for is drinking Evian. Uh, Evian is a relatively alkaline, nicely balanced uh, bottled water. It sits well within my budget of what I can afford to be doing for myself and my own personal health. Now, a lot of people will be out there saying that bottled water is no good for you, that there's no difference. I'd say better than nothing is to make sure you're drinking the best water you possibly can for where you live, for what you can afford, uh, and all the rest of it. Better choices, one way or the other, is going to benefit you. The real question when it comes to all of this is why? What's the point in all of this? Because you can go a whole day, I know people who go days, weeks without ever drinking a glass of water. Uh, they obviously get their water uh, enough through their foods and all the rest of it and they spend a lot of time dehydrated. Water makes up 75% of your brain, over 80% of your blood, 75% of your muscle tissue. So it's massively integral to everything uh, that we are and everything that we do. It carries nutrients to your cells, it helps carry oxygen throughout your body, it regulates your body temperature, it removes waste, it lubricates the joints, all of these natural bodily functions that we rely on every day to do what we do and be who we are massively rely on water. I can guarantee you if it's one thing you change, if it's one thing you try and work on, drinking more water will bring you massive health benefits. So. This is Az from Integrum Health and Wellness, wishing you well.